A bit of history between these two. We'll see the Chicago Cubs as they play against the Chicago White Sox. Major League Baseball, right here on 2K Sports. The Chicago Cubs, who love playing at their beloved yard, will look for a victory on the road in our game today in interleague play. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt getting ready for some offensive punch. We thank you for being with us as we close out month three of the season. 2K Sports MLB, Thorne, Phillips, and Krupp. We're going to take a look now at the starting pitcher for the White Sox. And uh, what is it about this Cubs lineup today that he's thinking about, Steve? Well, this is some kind of lineup he's facing in this one, and this left-hander is going to have to be on top of his game and really move his pitches around and use an assortment of pitches and really dazzle this lineup if he's going to have any luck against them. This is how the Cubs offense will look, sponsored by Pepsi. Scouting Big John, who are we uh, looking at today? If you're going to win a lot of baseball games, your middle lineup has to produce and has to be consistent. And that's what you get with the Ramos Ramirez. He's a... And Alfonso Soriano up. Last game a loss for the Cubs. Chance here to at least prevent the three-game sweep. They hope to go one and two against the White Sox. Well, they've hit a little bit of a rough stretch recently, just four and six in their last ten ball games. And he offers at the circle change and misses 0 and 1. Now what this ball club's got to do is find a way to put a little W streak together. Well, and there's no better place to do it than in front of your home fans. And Soriano makes good contact here. Well, that's a good start. First batter, first hit. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Infield, outfield factors in this one, Steve. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. Ball. High and inside, ball one. Well, the job of the pitcher is to make the hitter as uncomfortable as he can. You throw a four-seam fastball up and in around someone's chest, it'll make you uncomfortable. That's one away. More MLB coming your way this Wednesday. It's going to be Pablo Sandoval and the San Francisco Giants. They'll host the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's going to be a live broadcast starting at 3.30 Eastern. Okay, that's going to be a great matchup, and everybody's going to want to tune into that one. I'm looking forward to it. And Derek Lee digs in. One out. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. The 1-0 pitch. Well hit towards the middle, and it's through Lee at first base. And Soriano's on his way home, and he scores. Well, this guy's helping his team get off to a good start. Not only does he drive in a run here in the first inning, but now he can also make something happen with his legs. Runner on first now, Aramis Ramirez. Well, they've done themselves quite a job here. This is a nice push at this point of the ball game to get out in front. Hot shot towards the hole, and that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. Now batting for the Chicago The ball was well struck. Good piece of hitting. Infield playing back. Had a little more ability to cover some ground, but he was able to get a bind. It's going to be Soto now. Runners on first and second with one out. Fastball taken high. 1 0. Oh. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 1 1. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And he's on now. That's going to be another hit for them. Now Let's take a chance now and take a look Chicago at where the White Sox sit Second today in the rankings in the American League. League. First in batting average, first in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in hits, a lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base. A real bonus to scoring runs. And that looks like an RBI and a single. They're just teeing off right now. Four straight hits, and clearly this offense is locked in. Uh, it's clearly pretty intense out there right now. They're in a major jam, tough situation. The next few pitches could decide this game. And Steve, he's going to try to find a way out of the spaces loaded jam. Probably the, looking for that double play. Well, he's going to have to pitch to the bottom of the strike zone and get the hitter to top it and then let his infielders do their job. And they've taken a timeout here. They're going to go to the mound to have a little chat. Well, they're not quite sure if they're going to take him out just yet. You have to figure they're going to at least discuss how he feels and what they're going to do.
Here it comes. Carriel lays off that up high. A 235 career average off the White Sox. 1 0 delivery is a fastball in there. 1 1. Now, coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence because he picked up two hits last time out. So, got to be seeing the ball pretty well. The 1 and 1. That one's in the dirt. Nice stop. Now the 2 1 pitch. And Terrio works this one to his count, 3 and 1. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. The 3 2 pitch. Lost him. Ball four. And that's going to force a run in. Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. Maybe a little fatigue on the pitcher's part. They're not used to throwing that many pitches in one at bat, but the hitter wins it and gets that base on balls. It's fouled away. Here's the pitch. Line shot into center field. And that's in there. That brings home Soto. The tag, and he is out of the plate. Well, this is unbelievable. I mean, this guy's completely lost it out there now. They've strung together five consecutive hits against him. Clearly, he's run out of gas. Guskay will get the RBI chance. Now, definitely not an overstatement to say this offense may not be stoppable today. Now they jumped out of the gate here early, Gary. A lead like this can change your whole approach to the game, both with your pitchers and your hitters. And there's another one. They really are stringing these hits out. And Terrio comes home. Look, Gary, I didn't think he was going to try to go to third base there, but I like the aggressiveness. And now he's in scoring position. He can score in so many additional ways. And here's Alfonso Soriano. And Steve, the offense continues to produce. They keep building on it. Well, this offense handing a gift to the starting pitcher, scoring a bunch of runs early. Two men on, two men out. Here's the pitch to Soriano. Swung on and hit. It's going to be Quentin. And that one to fall in, and the run will score. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. No, that you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Here's the delivery. Swings at that breaking ball, but misses. It's 0-1. Well, up over 20 pitches now here in the first inning. Not the way you want to start the game, because it ultimately hurts you in this inning, but it's going to hurt you later as well. You're going to be out early. Waves and misses at the curve, just like that, 0-2. Oh, look at that big 12 to 6 breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch for any hitter to stay back on. Out in front, swinging early. And the tag is applied, side retired. Wow, they deal some serious damage. First inning, really starting out with a bang. The Cubs are in front, 6 to nothing. And Tom Gorzolani is the pitcher. Chicago's got him starting in this one. John, he gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? A prototypical left-handed pitcher is Tom Gorzolani. Here's a guy that doesn't have the overpowering fastball. He doesn't have that unbelievable breaking ball. But all of his pitchers are average to above average. And that's what makes this guy so good. He's going to keep the ball in the strike zone. He's going to make you put it in play. Doesn't strike out a lot of guys. So you're going to have to earn it against Gorzolani. And Damon, another foul ball. There's a swing towards the hole. One away. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Guillen's got going. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, the potential's there for Alex Rios to be a productive hitter. So let's see if he can provide some offense for his team today because they're going to need it. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0-1. Looking to build offensively off his last game where he had a couple of RBIs and trying to carry that into this one as well. Strike two there. Gorzolani's in charge, 0-2. Well, as a hitter, if you're looking for something off speed, you don't swing at anything hard. And that's what he did. He wasn't expecting that speed, and he swung late. 
Down on strikes Number there. 14. Nice piece of pitching. Work. He only got to see three pitches. Now, unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Boy, that's a tough at bat for the hitter. He's got to walk away almost before he even got there. And here's Paul Canerco. He's the league leader in ribbies. This one to Soriano. Oh, and he can't make the play. This inning is going to continue. Canerco's heading for third. And he can't recover in time. That's going to go as an error. But he stops at third. A triple. Two down. They've got a man just 90 feet away, though. Well, I was already to mark this down on the card as a double. Put another line in there. Well, he didn't let up at all, Gary. Great effort on his part. Took a chance, but he made it. Amazing thing is he was able to do it standing up. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's the league leader in hits. At the belt, Gorzolani kicks and throws. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Well, one of the things you have to do is when a pitcher makes mistakes, you have to make him pay for it. And twice last game, he did exactly that. Got pitches he could drive and took it over the wall. And Canerco will score. Now batting. But that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. That's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Runner on first, two away. This one foul back. Strike, Strike two. two there. Gorzolani's in charge, 0-2. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws to second. That'll be a force out and the third out. They pick up a run on one hit. Nobody left. The White Sox, they're not going to concede this. They've made a pretty good chunk out of that lead. Top of the second inning. It's Derek Lee to lead off. Had an RBI single his last time on the plate. Derek Lee. Now Lee gets set. Ball. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. He's hit 304 lifetime against the White Sox. A line drive towards short. One away. Let's have a look at the Central Division race brought to you by State Farm. With the All Star break just around the corner now. It's the White Sox in first. In the second spot, the Twins. In third place, it's the Royals. The Tigers, fourth place. And down at the bottom, the Cleveland Indians. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. That one's drilled to short. He's and so back. Ramirez retired. Almost Number fell eight. over when he got to that Field one. Body. Boy, there's some upper body strength on that throw. Well, you have to have great body control to play this game. He certainly sewed it there. And he got him. And it's Giovanni Soto. He singled his last trip. Base is empty with two outs. First one to Soto. Here's the pitch. Swings. Hits this one in the air down the right field line. And there's Quentin. We're out number three. No strikeouts. But you talk about confidence. Four pitches. Three batters gone. And it'll be the White Sox. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored, top five. That's hit foul by Rios. Here's the 0-1 from Gorzolani. And he fouls another one off. Here's the delivery. He strikes out Alex Rios on a swing and a miss. I've got a chance to take a look at the slider again. So he takes a cut on this one, trying to yank the chain. Comes up empty. Well, he thought he had that one dialed in. Pitched right down the middle of the plate. What shock it was when it hit the catcher's mitt and he didn't make contact. These are the swings that make hitters. There's a swing and a ball hit high in the air. Deep into right field. And the play made by Bird. Two away. 
Take a look at the teams who are leading the way in the home run department, courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox, number one. The Red Sox, second. In third, the Angels. Yankees, fourth. And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. Well, there's a lot of power in this lineup, Gary, and I tell you, it's a nightmare for any pitcher. You know, usually you have one or two guys that can take you out of the ballpark. They have a plethora of guys who can do damage. If one doesn't get you, the next one will. And Tian swings and misses strike three. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. The Cubs still ahead. Clear skies and U.S. Sailor Field on the menu for this afternoon. Glad to have you with us. Jeff Baker. It's Baker at the plate. And here's the first one. There's a swing and a miss behind 0 1. Well, climbing the ladder on him right there. He just throws that fastball right by him up in the zone. Here's the pitch. Curveball. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. Swing and a foul straight back. And Przinsky calls for the pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And they got to him in time to tag him up. Ryan Ferrier. And it's Ryan Terrio at the plate. Last time up, he walked, forced in a run. Nobody on base, one away. On the ground to short. And Ramirez feels the ball. And that'll retire Terrio. Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he set down. And here's the first one. Takes that one low and outside on one. How good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. That's going to bring up Kosuke Fukudomi. Now let's take a moment to see how the Cubs are doing rank-wise in the National League. Fourth in home runs, fifth in triples, and they're in the top ten in team batting average with runners in scoring position. That's a real asset for any team. When you get runners in scoring position, hit the clutch and drive them in. Whoa, that misses badly. One and oh. Well, Gary, the circle change is really his bread and butter pitch. And that change of velocity where he'll throw the fastball at one speed and really take something off with the circle change. Plays off that breaking ball. Takes it for a strike, though, one and two. You know, Gary, you know, talking about hit this guy's circle change, I mean, one of the, the reasons why it's so good is that his arm wow. speed is the same, whether he throws a fastball or this changeup. And it's the grip that really changes the speed. Oh. And he fouls off another one. Well, you know, the pitcher wanted that strikeout right there. He threw a great pitch on the inside part of the plate. Thought he had him set up to go there, but a defensive swing keeps this at-bat going. And that's a base hit. Fukudomi on board. There's the throw. The and plate. he is safe at third ahead of that play. Fantastic chance here. And here's Alfonso Soriano. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. Here's the pitch to Soriano. First pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. He's getting it done all season long, Gary, and a guy they're really looking to count on. Oh, here's Fukadomi taking off. And he's in there at second base. Here's the pitch. And it holds at 0 and 2. Here's a swing and a line drive. Gets another one down. That'll score a run. The throw. And he scores. He is in there in time. So that's going to bring in two. Number 23, Marlon Bird. 
What more do you need to see? Now you have to question his confidence, giving up three straight hits. Not much going right out there at this point. And we've got Bird batting. Hi. Well, this offense is having one of those days. Wow, are they putting some numbers up. Boy, with so many runs here, this thing is getting away from it. It's turning into an absolute rout. Swung on, that is hit. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. Cubs continue to run away with this one. End of the order. And it's Jim Tommy in the box now. Number 27, Jim Tommy. Swung on, line to right center field. And that gets in there. Tommy, a base hit. At the plate for the Chicago White Well, a good piece of hitting right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. And it's Johnny Damon. Right there in the top five in home runs. First pitch on the way to Damon. That ball is belted deep left center. That ball is way back there. Over the wall. Goodbye. A two run home. He went with a four-seam fastball right there, and he threw it right in the hot zone for the hitter, and he took him deep. That was a mistake. Well, this game's gotten away from Chicago, but at least they're getting a little bit of production right here, trying to build confidence for the next time around. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And so Ramirez retired. Let's have a look at the Central Division Number race brought to you by State Farm. All the All-Star break just around the corner now. The Reds, first place. Second place, the Cubs. Brewers in third place. In the fourth spot, the Cardinals. In fifth place, it's the Astros. And wrapping up the list, it's the Pirates. And it's Paul Canerco now leading the league in home runs. Swing deep into right center field. Way, way back there. Gone a home run. Well, that home run occurred with no one on, so they'll only chip one off the deficit down by four. Well, that's the second one this inning here, Gary. So something, how much longer can we leave him in the game? Well, he better start brushing people away here because they're just settling in on him. You're right. They look real comfortable. Well, they needed production, Gary, and they get a little bit, but they've got a long way to go. One out, nobody on. At the belt, Gorzolani kicks and throws. He gets Quinton to swing, strike one. Now, Gary, they've scored three runs here right now in this inning, and obviously slowly, methodically working themselves back into this ballgame. Tried to get him to go after that cutter, but it's one and two. Big swing and a miss. Carlos Quentin goes down swinging. We've got a second now to see the four seam fastball in K Camp. Well, this one's headed towards the outside corner of the plate, and the pitcher just fooled him. He needs to be a bit more disciplined up there. And not, uh, not much in the timing department there, John. He's going back to the dugout. And Beckham's in the box. He's gone nine for 20 over his career against the Cubs. There's a swing and a ball hit deep into right field. Still going. Still down by three runs with that homer, but maybe some steam going here. Uh, Gary, they need to continue to score, but already the White Sox have some momentum and they've drawn close. And he starts Rios out. Slurve swung on and missed 0 1. 
Well, they're not all the way back yet, but they're closing in. And at this point, they really didn't need to get all the way back. They just needed a feel that the offense was going to be there for them. And boy, nothing spells momentum like home run. Strike him out. Boy, is he glad this inning's over. But not before they strike for four runs on the strength of three home runs. The White Sox, they're not going to concede this. They've made a pretty good chunk out of that lead. And a chance to see one of the many expressions of Lou Pinelli. He knows all too well that the inning uh, on the mound that they just had cannot happen again if they're going to try and win this ballgame. Now it's up to the offense. This one's grounded foul wide of first. 0 1 offering from Linebrink. And Ramirez fields the ball. And that'll retire Lee. And a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. This game, the last against the Cubs. They'll kick off a series with the Kansas City Royals, a little division play. That's a team they handled all right the last time up. They'll try for a repeat performance. That'll be a three game series. Then they'll have to contend with Michael Young and the rest of that lineup for Texas. The team they rolled over last time out. So a couple of tough series on the way for them. Line Brink with the delivery. Just missed with the fastball. 1-0. Let's the 1-0 pitch go by. 1-1. Well, the hitter's got to regret that one. He missed his pitch right down the heart of the plate. Four-seam fastball. That hurts. Here's a swing soft liner right side. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. And that's going to bring Giovanni Soto up. Well, that's all you can ask your hitter to do. Find a way to get on base, and he does with one out. That base hit right there. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can move him around and possibly score a run. Here's the pitch. Swing liner back up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit for Soto. The Cubs in a nice position to capitalize. Well, this is getting ugly right now. I mean, he's given up hit after hit after hit. This offense has clearly figured him out. How much longer can you leave men to take a beating? Called strike from line brink. Count now goes to 0-1. Now that he's gotten the four-seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. That will bring a key at bat to this moment to Ryan Terrio. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steven, looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. First pitch is a splitter for a called strike. Well, it, you might as well just pack it in. If a guy can consistently throw this kind of pitch down and away, it's going to be very effective. Ball. Ryan Terrio not fooled by that. Count is even. Right. And he takes a splitter in there, and it's one and two now. The one two pitch. Oh. Ryan Terrio not fooled by that. Count is even. Well, he tried that four seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Oh. And he lays off one inside and he's worked it full. Terrio set. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on that for strike three to Ryan Terrio. He's got a shot of getting out of this now. Big time out. Now he's got two down. He's only one out away from working out of this jam. And hot power batting. Career, he's 0 for 1 off Scott Linebrink. Now the first pitch. Oh, Splitter one. drops in for a called strike. Well, he got away with one right there. That was a mistake. A split finger right down the heart of the plate. 1 0 is a curve and a called strike. Line break with the delivery. Tried to get him to follow the splitter, but it's one and two. Lined right at the second baseman. And that's going to do it in this half inning. Well, they load the bases on the strength of three base hits, but no runs. The Cubs eight, White Sox five. 
Leading it off, A.J. Krasinski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. A.J. Krasinski. Here's the first pitch. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. He's wishing he laid off that one, a strike and a pitch in the dirt. Towards the middle, Gorzolani and Sofirzinski retire. And here's Martin. Had a real strong offensive game last time out. Three big base hits. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Now Soto sets the target. Strike two there. Gore Zolani's in charge, 0-2. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider in the strike zone. He got the hitter out in front to swing early. And that'll put Tian on first. So Jim Tomey coming up. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. That's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up on how he throws to this guy. Tomey gets in. Here's the first delivery. There's a swing. Line drive. Center field. Two away. And that'll hold the runner at first. Now coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. And it's Johnny Damon now. He homered earlier in the ball game. He's swinging the bat very well today and doing a little bit of everything. Driving in runs, hitting the ball out of the ballpark, having a good ball game. A runner on first with two outs. At the belt, Gorzolani kicks and throws. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Well, this is just one of those pitches right there that he had a chance to put in play. Here's a swing, a fly ball deep down the line and right. This one to Bird. And that's going to do it in this half inning. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. Cubs still on top. Bottom part of the order will get their chance offensively. Kosuke Fukudomi will lead it off. Only one career at bat prior to this one, looking for his first lifetime offline break. He delivers the 0 0 delivery of fastball taken for a strike. Tough pitch to hit right here when you run this fastball up and away. You have to elevate your swing to get on top of it. He ends up taking the pitch. Change up. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. He had great arm motion on that change up right there, but he left it just a little bit high. One two pitch coming. That one goes foul. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Back up. So Fugadomi is set down. For the Chicago Cubs. Left fielder. And Alfonso Soriano up. He had a two-run single in his last appearance. Well, he's already produced three runs in this game. He's clearly swinging the hot bat. You know they're going to be very careful with him here. Here's the pitch to Soriano. Called strike from line brink. Count now goes to 0-1. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. Smash towards the hole, and Canerco makes the catch. Well, he hit this one on the screws, but luckily the first baseman had him positioned properly and had the big old glove over there to get him out. And we've got Bird batting. A three for seven career batter off Scott Linebrink. 0-1 offering from Linebrink. And that's the third out. That'll do it. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. And it'll be the White Sox. Batters two through four coming right up. Look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. 
he knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Grounded out last time. At the belt, Gorzolani kicks and throws. It's strike one, can't make contact on the fastball. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Ramirez will foul that one away. Swing and a miss. Three strikes and Alexei Ramirez is set down. Boy, terrific break on this pitch. Just bottoms out. Pretty fast for a breaking ball, too. And it's Paul Canerco now. Home runs. Leads the American League. And he starts Canerco out. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0-1. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary. Really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Strike two. Strike two no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. But Gary, he's not messing around, going right at him on the 0-2 count. He didn't waste anything. He just went right for the juggler. And Quinton settles in, leading the MLB in batting average. There's a swing. That ball hit a long way deep into right center field. Out of here, a home run. They wish that homer had been chased in a couple more. They'll take it, though, only down two. Well, Gary, they need to continue to score, but already the White Sox have some momentum, and they've drawn close. Here's the first pitch. Fastball swung out and missed, 0-1. Boy, you talk about big-time homers, Steve. That was one right there, and, and they're not done maybe in this inning. Well, you know what? You've got the pitcher rattled. This is the time to get him. You've got him on the ropes. Now's the time to capitalize. And that one swung on and missed by Gordon Becker. Well, they chip away, grabbing an important run with that solo big fly. The White Sox, they're not going to concede this. They've made a pretty good chunk out of that lead. It's Derek Lee to lead off. Try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Derek Lee. Line break with the delivery. Fastball misses away. 1 0. Here's the 1 0. Fastball just misses and he falls behind 2 0. He watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike, two and one. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Ball and three. Lee works this one to that hitter's count of three and one. 364, a lifetime number against Scott Linebrink. And it's going to be Quentin. It's back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. I thought this had a chance of going out of the park when it came off the bat, but it just died out there. Along the right fielder, they're able to get to the wall and make a play. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Swung on and a ground at a first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. You have to have good hands and good feet at first base. He has both as he scoops it up and takes care of it himself. Two outs, space is empty. Ball. Slider misses badly with it. One and oh. Strike. Swing and a miss. Soto not making contact there. That's going to even up the count. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Line towards second. And it gets down a three for four game. Good hitting job. Now batting. That'll bring up Jeff Chicago Baker. Cubs. State Farm second brings you a look at the group of arms with the best ERA for the month. The White Sox number one. The Red Sox second. The Angels third. The Twins fourth. And the Mariners fifth. We take a look at these low ERAs, and I think it really points to the fact they have depth and their pitching staff, the starting pitching and the bullpen have been getting the job done, really limiting the opposition. Takes so much pressure off the offense.
Line Brink with the delivery. Swing and lined up the middle. That one gets through for a base hit. Now Fantastic chance here. Shortstop number two, Ryan Ferrier. Well, he's having a heck of a day so far. It's his third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. Well, things starting to heat up a little bit. Ryan Terrio coming up in a big, big moment for his club. Let's see if he can get it done. 0 for 6 hitters so far against Scott Linebrink. And we'll get to see Matt Thornton pitching. As the White Sox bring him in as a reliever. Here's the pitch. And it's two strikes now. And Terrio's got to protect that strike zone. Liner between first and second, and that's going to do it. Canerco's there. So, no runs, two hits, and they strand two. The Cubs eight, the White Sox six. And for those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crock and Steve Phillips, bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. And one of the top ten averages right now. He deals. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Oh, he's having some kind of season this year, Gary. Really the guy leading this team's offense and some kind of offensive production. A shot up the middle. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. That's going to bring up A.J. Brzezinski. Here's what's uh, next for the Cubs. They wrap up the Chicago series today. They kick off a homestand with the Pirates. That's a team they beat pretty soundly the last time around. That's a three-game series. And then they'll have to contend with Jay Bruce as they play host to the Reds. That series bound to be competitive. Home sweet home for a while here. We'll try to make the most of it. One of the best batting averages in the league. First pitch. Here's one. Hit very well deep. One away. Now batting for the Chicago White Sox. Third and Mark Tian to bat. In the top ten in hits. Mark Tian. Here's the pitch. He swings and it's this one's going to be fielded by Fukudomi. That's the second out. Now batting for the Chicago White Sox. And as Jim told me in the box, number well, he was the talk of the last game, four base hits in that one. And a lot of confidence building around him right now. Two outs and a man on first. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. And that gets the tying run on board. Rios is going to go for it. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Well, a great piece of work right there to get that double and put himself in scoring position. He got a fastball and took a good rep at it. Nice short compact swing. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate. A couple of RBIs thus far. A couple of productive at bats so far in this one, despite the fact they're losing. The base hit, uh, driving in run, Gary, then the home run as well. So he has swung the bat and done some damage. This one has popped up to the left side out of play. Bimel delivers the strike now 0 and 2. Well, they're a strike away right now from getting out of this jam and holding on to the lead. There's contact. He drove it well. And Fukudomi's there. That's caught. Side is retired. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. Cubs still ahead. A glimpse there, Lou Pinello. And he has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance runs so important. And the first pitch. Up the middle. Thornton. He's One away. Out to the plate. You have to have good reactions on the mound to be able to make the play and then move okay. your feet to make the throw to first base. Nice job. Nice job. There's a swing and a line drive. 
So Fugadomi is set down. For the Chicago Cubs. Left fielder. It's Soriano at the plate. He's driven home three in this one. Well, that's three RBI is a major part of why they're winning right now, Gary. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the pitch. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. I think the hitter was looking for something. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throws on to first. Side is retired. Well, how about that? Only needed four pitches to set down the guys. Tremendous. Loosen them up. Seventh inning stretch time on the south side. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's going to get things going here. Home half. South inning. First pitch to him. Hit hard to second. Baker. One down. Let's have a look at our leaderboard brought to you by State Farm. How the teams stack up in hitting. Number one, the White Sox. The Yankees second. The Twins third. Fourth, the Red Sox. And number five, the Indians rounded out. Well, as a team, these guys really swing the bat from top to bottom. They find a way to put it in play and find holes out there. When you do that, you've got a chance to score a lot of runs. The pitch. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Conurco now will look to tighten up that zone. What a great pitch right there by the pitcher. The hitter gets out there. He's thinking it's a fastball. And all of a sudden, he sees that movement on that slider. And he hesitates for just that brief second to swing late. Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. Well, they went away right there, and he put a pretty good swing on it, but just couldn't quite make contact. Walking back to the dugout now. First pitch to Quinton. Swing, hot shot. That is in. It's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits, and he's also first in on-base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. Well hit towards the middle, and Terrio picks that up. Throw on to second base, force play, side retired. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Up next, it'll be the Cubs. Two hole to get things started next. Isaac Guillen taking a look at you right there. He wants offense and he wants his pitching to shut the door too. Two runs back, he needs a little of each. And we've got Bird batting. Lined out last time up. And the first pitch. First pitch is a slider in there on one. Well, this starts out a strike and it ends up a strike. You got to swing the bat. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it's going to be Quentin. And he gets over and grabs it with the left. First base, number 25. And Derek Lee digs in. One out. He's had one hit four times up. Now Lee gets set. It's fouled off. Here's the delivery. And with two strikes on him now, Derek Lee will be looking to make sure he makes contact. Unless you stay back and really think about... On the ground to short. And Ramirez feels the ball. And that'll retire Lee. And Aramis Ramirez stands in. Two down. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Here he has an outstanding slider. I mean, that's really the pitch to look for. Such great movement on that pitch. Ramirez throws to first side is retired. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. Now time for the White Sox. This is their chance in the home half of the eighth. We'll have the six, seven, and eight hitters coming up next. And Alex Rios to lead off. I'm trying to get here, just one for three thus far. Alex Rios. And he starts Rios out. 
That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Uh, clearly, you're getting very late here in the ball game, and you know the game. Hot shot towards the hole, and makes its way through. The tying run will come to bat. Yeah, a nice piece of hitting right there. You get on base to start the inning with no outs, and you know all it does is you want to just keep the line moving if you're the guys behind him. A runner on first, no out. First pitch, here it comes. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count 0 1. His batting average, 306 lifetime against the Cubs. That pitch was way too low, but he swung at it anyway. It's a strike. And A.J. Prezinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. Here's the four seed fastball coming at you in K Camp. Get a better look. Nice pitch on the inside quarter. That gets him fishing a little bit. Well, he wanted that one. You could see it in his body language. He just got out dueled by the pitcher on that one. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Now you're up by two uh, runs here with one out. And obviously, you know, this is where you want to try to just get another. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. This one to Soriano. As he drops back and puts it away. Now this ball was well struck, but it stays in the ballpark. And the left fielder is able to range back and make the catch. Now Jim Tomey. With good speed now at first base, Gary, they're going to have to at least keep an eye on him. Even though they've got the lead, they've got to watch him because they might try to steal to get back into this game. Here's the pitch. And the pitch out. Nothing doing that time. Here's the pitch. Low for a ball to Tommy. No hits in two at bats. Lifetime against Spiman. Now the 2 1. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Gets through. Tying run on. Rios towards third base. And not stopping there. He's going for it. And Rios comes in. A big two out hit right there. It's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch on the way to Damon. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, I'll tell you, what an approach from this team. I mean, coming back into this. Hard ground at a short. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So they score once on two hits, one man left. The White Sox, they're not going to concede this. They've made a pretty good chunk out of that lead. And it's Giovanni Soto. Three for four thus far. Giovanni Soto. The pitch. Fastball just misses. 1-0. Oh. 0 for 2 lifetime against Matt Thornton. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 1-1. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's one and two. The one two on its way. And he'll take an extra base on this one. It's rolling towards the wall. And Soto stretching it. He's still going. And safe, he's in there. Well, he just continues to swing a hot bat in this one. Is that four hits for him now? Yes, it is. It's Baker at the plate. And at this point in the ballgame, you'd love to add some more runs on that board. Well, just get an insurance run or two to protect your relief pitchers when they come into the game. This could be the put away run or runs. Pitch on the way. Fastball swung out and missed, 0 1. 
Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Deep right. And it's going to be Quentin. As he, here comes Soto for the plate. And Soto scores. In the back for the Chicago Cubs. Shortstop, number two. And it's Ryan, Ryan Terrio at the plate. And the offense here is putting on the show right now. They're in charge of this ball game. Well, my friend Gary, that's a perfect right example one. of clutch hitting we saw right there. He got the job done in the critical situation. They go up by two in the ninth. Right Again, protecting their pitching when they go to the bottom of the ninth. The pitch. Oh. Terrio makes contact, fouls that one off. And have really made this an exciting ball game. And uh, it's not often done that you come up with those kind of runs wow. in the ninth inning. Well, I, and you're right. But, I mean, you know what? They've got a chance to add on some more runs right here. And now the pitching knows they go to the bottom of the ninth Hold with on. a lead and a chance for a win. Strike three as Ryan Terrio goes down and did not get an offering at that pitch. Uh, it took only six pitches to get it done here late in the game. Well, you hate to strike out any time in the game, but especially late. You want to put the ball in play and try to make something right. happen. Couldn't get it done there. And half power batting. In his career, he's 0 for 5. The White Sox. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And there's Quentin for out number three. They pick up a run on one hit. Nobody left. Two run ball game. Cubs lead. In the dugout, Lou Pinello. He's got his club where he Number wants. 10. Two insurance runs and hoping oh, to close see. this one out. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's ready to give his best at bat right here. First position, home half of the ninth. And doing the pitching, it'll be Carlos Marmol. They've decided it was time to grounder. Lee up with it. And he'll step on the back. That'll be the first out. First base. Well, uh, defensively, you got one out here in the ninth inning, and we want to make a play. Just get an out. You will trade a run for an out here with a two-run lead. Base is empty with one away. First pitch on the way. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0-1. Get a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. Strike two, no balls, and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be very patient with it. You can't be over anxious. You got to stay back. And then when you see it good enough, let it fly. First pitch to Quinton. A swing, a high drive deep into center field. Gone, a home run. They trim a bit off that deficit. A solo shot, only one down. I mean, the I tell you, the pitching and the defense have got to be nervous right now as the Southsiders look locked in at the plate. They've almost caught them. Marmol with the windup. Starts him off swinging at his shoe tops for a strike. And Steve, you got big time bats doing just what they're asked to do. That's hit the long ball late in the ball game. Here they are right on the doorstep. Can they go back to back right here to tie it up? That one swung on its line. And it's in there. The tying run on board. And now, courtesy of State Farm, here's a chance to look at the teams creating the most offense. The White Sox, number one. Second, the Yankees. Third spot, the Red Sox. The Twins, fourth. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. Well, leading the league in run score, that means they score runs in a lot of different ways. They have hit up the middle. And he's on the potential winning run. Get ready. Uh, now he surrendered three straight hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs an out. Well, showdown moment in this game right now, Gary, with A.J. Przinski coming to the plate. He loves these sorts of situations. We'll see if he can get it done right here. Well, this could very well be their last shot. Possible tying and winning runs on base. He just needs to concentrate on putting it in play and hitting it hard. Doing it with two down. Here's a fly ball. Could be it. 
And Fukudomi's there. That's the last out. This ball game is now over. They picked up a big run in the final inning, Gary, and then held the lead. And the visiting team going home happy. I think you'll agree with me. We've got a perfect choice for the Pepsi Clutch performer. Well, you know, Gary, anytime you can put the ball in play, you have a great opportunity to get hits and great things happen. And that's what happened today. The pitcher couldn't find a way to put him away. That's why he got those three big hits. And when you can do that, good things are going to happen for your team. And they come into hostile territory, Steve, and take this one by one run. Well, both teams had a chance to win it. Goes down to the very end, but the visiting club outplayed them. Great day for baseball here at 2K Sports. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our great 2K Sports crew. We wish you a great rest of the day or night, wherever you may be in baseball.